save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. What up, what up? It's so marvelous in the fucking Hemi. So today's topic is why you can't save her. So as you've seen in the, the intro, like Project Pat said, you can't save her, she don't wanna be saved. He said it in a way that was very, you know, it wasn't the most eloquent way in the world he could have said it, but when you break it down, when you break down what he really meant by that, it's about, it's about your ego. As a man, we feel that we can save and we can fix everything. And then we want people to be attached to us and look towards us for the, to be the savior. We want people to look at us like we're the saviors. But at the end of the day, you can't save anybody. Only person you can save is yourself. And then from her interacting with you and you planting that seed and you teaching her the same tools you used to save yourself so that now you can make her be the hero in her life, in her personal movie. Now she's the hero of her own world and she's gonna use your playbook that you use to save yourself, that you use to emancipate your own mind. She's gonna use that as the playbook, as the guide, as the instruction book, how to save herself. You can't save anybody. You know what I'm saying? You know that old adage. You give a man a fish, he eats for that day. You teach a man how to fish, he eats for a lifetime. And then what they didn't say in that is that that man's family, his great, great, great grandchildren will also eat from you teaching that man how to be self-sufficient. And that's the thing. You have to be self-sufficient and teach her how to be self-sufficient. Because if you just want to give her fish all the time, you're going to make her dependent on you. And if you need someone to be dependent on you, what does it say about your ego? Your hubris is out of control. You feel me? So you can't save her. And she actually doesn't want to be saved. If you see women and you see how they act, when a nigga just constantly get spoon feeding them, when a nigga constantly have them attached to their hip using money, you're trying to buy her love. You can't buy her love. You have to earn it. But first, you got to love yourself. And she's going to reflect that same love that you have from yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you teach her how to love herself the same way you love yourself, she'll reflect that back to you. You feel me? A hundred times over. When you give a woman something, she multiplies it. You give her semen. She multiplies those cells and turns into a baby. You give her a house, she makes it a home. You teach her and you give her love and you teach her love, she gives it back to you a hundredfold. You feel me? And like my man Pusha T said, That's how you have to move in this world. You know what I'm saying? In the Bible it says, it's God, man, woman, and then children. So, your highness, you have to think about yourself in that fashion, like your highness, you know what I'm saying? You have to forgive her past the same way Jesus forgave your past. You have to be benevolent in interacting with her the same way. You take your cues on how to be a man from Jesus, from the Lord, from the Most High, whatever you believe in, from the universe. Take your cues from that, you know what I'm saying? And then you interact with her in that same way, you feel me? You have to forgive her past understand love is understanding they say in the bible the man should love the woman and the woman has to show that love by respecting him you know what i'm saying by you loving her that gives her understanding that allows her to love herself and then from her respecting you it allows you to respect yourself i appreciate your ride with me hard work beats talent if talent don't work hard but when hard work meets talent, then you got greatness.
you don't fuck with me, like I know you don't fuck with me, and I know you fuck with me, you know what to do, Omar was in the fucking hymn.